We went to the Coca-Cola Museum. We went to the Coca-Cola Museum. And it was really cool. You know what else is cool? This awesome little thing that I made for that beginning part of the video. Yeah, I spent like 20 minutes making that just for that beginning part of the video because I'm so cool. Guess what this is going to be about? How my aunt and I went to the Coca-Cola Museum when I was in Atlanta, Georgia last week. There are a couple things you should know. One, the Coca-Cola Museum is not actually called the Coca-Cola Museum. It's called the World of Coca-Cola. But I didn't realize that until like just after we had left. And so I called it the Coca-Cola Museum the whole time. So uh, just, just bear with me. Number two, when my aunt told me, oh hey, do you want to go to the World of Coca-Cola? I was like, yes! We were talking about what our favorite part of Coke was. Like, you know, the commercials, or like Diet Coke, or regular Coke. Regular Coke! Although Diet Coke is also really good. And I was like, my favorite thing about Coke is the polar bear that they use in those commercials. You know the cute little polar bear and it's so huggable and lovable and it's just wonderful? Yeah, honestly, that's one of my favorite parts about Coke. It's definitely my favorite part of their advertising. I was just like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we could meet the polar bear? My aunt did not tell me this, but they have a person dressed up as the polar bear in a big polar bear suit and you can take pictures with him and he gives you hugs and I met the polar bear! That was really exciting. Uh, I said, hey Aunt Ned, can you film me hugging the polar bear and like getting my professional picture taken with the polar bear? And she was like, sure Sarah, being the nice aunt she was. So she was standing over there filming me while I went up to hug the polar bear. <laughs> the unfortunate thing was that my camera did not focus. So the footage is really, really bad, and I am going to show you part of it, but yeah, that was really disappointing. And like, the polar bear waved at the camera and everything, and it's blurry. And so after we went through the whole museum, you know, they funnel you out through the gift shop. They are like, pick up your pictures here, pick up your pictures with a polar bear here. We went over to look at them, and the pictures are like $30. $30 for one, like, this big picture which I thought was way overpriced. And I was like, well, I have this video footage of it, so who needs a picture anyway? We got back to my aunt's apartment, and I watched the video footage, and it was very disappointing. But I have the memory, and memories are priceless. You don't need pictures or video to remember something, do you? No. You've got your brain for that. And anyway, a video or a picture can't capture the sensation of actually hugging the Coca-Cola polar bear. And I have that memory. I have the feeling. So if I ever meet someone who can hug better than the Coca-Cola polar bear, then I think I will propose to you. Unless you are a girl. In which case I will just call you my best friend. So I guess without further ado, roll footage. Here we are. It is Sunday, June 26th. Are walking into the Coca-Cola Museum Wee! and we are very excited and we will let you know how it is okay it should be fun at least at the end we get to drink a lot of coke yay we will we will definitely be documenting that hopefully we don't get sick yes. well yes. it may just be really su sweet that's all okay yay okay okay thanks bye
ready for some food. They are arranged by continent, and so I think that we are going to start with Africa. So join us on this lovely safari. We have just completed our tour of Africa. This one was not very good. This one tasted like Dr. Pepper. This one was very, very kiwi, mango, berry. I think it was okay. This one was minty. I would not recommend this one from Djibouti. And it tasted like liquid gum in your mouth. This one was ginger ale, just like they serve on airplanes and services. Um, this one uh, tasted like root beer, but it was clear, so it was kind of weird. And then this one was okay. It's mostly gone, so I think people liked it, but I never really liked it.
the hell? Diet Coke anymore. Yeah. I mean, Diet Coke's gonna taste really bland for a day or two. I know. We there were so many different flavors, and my stomach is very full. I think I'm not going to be thirsty for quite some time. We went to the Coca-Cola Museum. We went to the Coca-Cola Museum. We went to the Coca-Cola Museum, and it was really cool. So that was our trip to the Coca-Cola Museum. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed being there. And if you are ever in Atlanta, Georgia, or in Georgia, or in anywhere of the southern part of the United States, which is actually pretty small, I highly suggest that you go there. Yes, I am advertising for Coca-Cola. I'm even wearing an awesome t-shirt that I got there. But seriously, it was really, really cool. It gave me a whole new appreciation for... Coke. And like, it's really just a really cool company. I mean, they have this one part of the museum where it's like a movie theater and all you do is you sit in the theater and you watch commercials, like Coke commercials. You watch them on a big screen. And my aunt and I were in there for like half an hour just watching commercials. I mean, I hate commercials. I hate commercials on TV so much. And yet Coke commercials were like entertainment. It did help that they had a lot of foreign language ones, so those were really cool. Had some of those really old commercials that you would never, like, that were made way before I was born, so that was really fun to watch too. But it just goes to show, like, how cool the company is. Alright, I think that's it.